Because we live in a fast-paced world where there's a constant downpour of entertainment options to choose from, it's easy to get stuck in a cycle where we rave about a game one day only to forget about it the next. That is not the case when it comes to the game Not For Broadcast, a cheeky political satire that put you in control of a broadcast booth for a national news program during what can best be described as a tumultuous time for the country. For nearly two years now, I've been raving that Not For Broadcast is one of the best games of the last 10 years. And with the release of the newest downloadable episode, Bits of Your Life, I have another chance to talk about this hilarious game from Tiny Build. This time around, we're given full control over what should be a sweet and emotional look back at a broadcaster's life in the spotlight. But when things go wrong, it's up to you to pick up the pieces. Is this newest DLC better than Live and Spooky? That's what we're about to find out when I review, not for broadcast, Bits of Your Life. Seeing as this is the second piece of downloadable content and you need the full game to play it, I'm just gonna assume that you've either played or at least know about Not For Broadcast. However, if you haven't, here's how it works. You sit in the control room of a TV station and command the feed by switching between four different camera angles and censoring anything objectionable. You'll occasionally run into technical issues and other obstacles, but most of the game revolves around switching between cameras and bleeping profanity. In this newest episode, you're manning the booth of a retrospective show called Bits of Your Life, which is basically an updated version of that classic show, This Is Your Life. It's the kind of cheesy program where they'll honor a guest by bringing out friends, family, co-workers, and former lovers they haven't seen in decades, all in the hopes of scoring some big emotional points or maybe a few laughs. The special guest for this particular show is Peter Clement, a longtime television broadcaster who used his famous name to form a new political party and get elected prime minister. This episode takes place 49 days before the events of the main game, back when Peter was still in campaign mode and Julia Smallberry was not yet a household name. This episode delves into his past as a TV personality, complete with fun clips, memories from his co-workers, and a few extra surprises sprinkled in to keep that audience happy. For a large part of this game, everything plays out pretty much as you'd expect. Host Eamon Tightly interviews a former girlfriend, we check in with Peter's elderly parents, and don't change that dial, because things get awkward when a former co-host confronts the politician about their rocky relationship on live TV. Throw in a couple of musical numbers and some classic clips from the archive, and you have the kind of safe, feel-good entertainment that has been a staple of television since its inception. Now, safe is a good word to describe bits of your life, at least early on. While the show's format may be different from the nightly news, most of the fundamentals are the same. We're still switching between cameras and bleeping out the bad words. The only difference now is that you also have an applause button that you'll need to push when a guest enters and exits. Sure, it's fun hearing more about the alcoholic politician's dubious past, and there are some truly hilarious moments scattered throughout, but... I spent the first playthrough waiting for something big to happen. After shaking things up so much with the last downloadable episode, Live and Spooky, I worried the bits of your life would be a boring follow-up with no bite. Boy, was I wrong. After you complete all three parts of the special, the game flips everything on its head and gives you even more control. Now that you know how the show is supposed to go, you're able to mix things up and rearrange the guest order. Yeah, that may not sound like much, but let me tell you, it makes a huge difference when it comes to how the show plays out. For one thing, Amon is not the kind of host that can go off script, and rearranging the order will cause a whole chain reaction of disasters. This is when the game truly gets interesting. There are actually a bunch of different paths to take and 10 unique endings to see, giving the players a lot of content to interact with. What's great about this mode is that you'll see interviews play out in completely different ways, giving you a lot more to interact with as you attempt to see all 10 endings. Frustrated that there wasn't enough profanity to bleep out in the main show? Well, don't worry, you'll be mashing that censor button when Amon absolutely loses his mind on live TV. 
The chaos you can cause is delicious, and you definitely get your money's worth when it comes to the different paths and interviews. That's probably why I found myself enjoying bits of your life more than live and spooky. While I liked the supernatural elements more in the last DLC and was largely impressed with how they shook up the game mechanics, there's just something about the chaos that you can cause in this show that is just more fun and satisfying. You spend the entire first playthrough waiting to break it, so when you finally have a chance to take a sledgehammer to the show, it feels so damn good. Now, for what it's worth, I played through this downloadable episode on the PlayStation 5, as opposed to PC, which I used to play the main game and live and spooky. This finally gave me a chance to experience the game using a controller, which I will admit took a little getting used to. While the game does a good job of showing you what buttons to hit so you're never confused, there's just a lot of holding down of the triggers in order to select something with the face buttons. On PC, most of this is accomplished by simply pointing the cursor at something and pressing the button. That's just a lot easier than the console version, but I did get used to the PlayStation 5 controls, and I think you're going to have a great time with Not For Broadcast, no matter how you play it. Look, I don't think I'm spoiling anything when I say that Bits of Your Life is not as good as the main game. It's a smaller episode that gives you more of the same, all while offering a couple of new gameplay tweaks. It's well acted, the archival footage is believable, and there's just no getting around how much fun it is to see Iman sweat. Sure, it may be a little too familiar at times, but if you're already a fan of Not For Broadcast, then this second downloadable episode is an absolute must-play. This newest downloadable episode of Not For Broadcast may not have any ghosts, but there are definitely a lot of skeletons in the closet. Bits of Your Life is a sweet retrospective series with a foul-mouthed politician and a host that chokes the moment he goes off script. It's the kind of cheesy reality show that you can't wait to destroy, and the chaos that you can create in this DLC is positively delicious. With multiple paths and 10 unique endings, you'll get your money's worth with this episode. If the third and final episode, Time Loop, is somehow able to top bits of your life, then not for broadcast fans are in for a real treat. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, Here's the question I have for you. What's your favorite piece of DLC? Man, there's a lot of great story-based downloadable content out there. Or maybe your favorite piece of DLC is just a song from Rock Band. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a look at Super Mario RPG, plus a review of Ebenezer and the Invisible World. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.